Yo, what's up guys? Hey, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the X-Ray Zone. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. You came to the right channel. Um, if you want to become an RT, radiology technologist, or just anything in the medical profession, I'm here to help you. I'm here to make, help you make the best decision. Um, so you already know, man. And while you're here, man, and you already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and follow me here. Yes, that's my Instagram page. Uh, that's something I'm trying to build. As you can see, it says Mentor Life Coach. Um, I started something new, man, that I want to help you guys one-on-one. -on -one. I get a lot of questions that I can't really answer through my comment section all the time. So go on there if you have real questions, if you want that one-on-one. -on -one, I, I, hey, my pricing is going to be crazy. I'm here to help you guys. I want you to make the best decision. Um, so go on there, DM me, DM me information, and uh, you know we'll get you started, man. You have me one-on-one. -on -one. You can ask me all the questions, man. I've been in this field for over 15 years. I've been, I worked in multiple hospitals, multiple hair care, hair care settings. Um, I've done a lot, man. So if you looked at my page, you see that I, I'm into a lot of things. So I'm here to help you, man. So I'm here to mentor you and, you know, coach you up and let's get you on the right track. Um, so anyway, today is 2025. Well, not today. What well, is today? 2025, right? But, you know, we're in the year 2025, right? And this is our year, you know, new year, new me, right? Mentality. You know what I'm saying? I know we get that every year, but let's make it official this year for real. Let's stop procrastinating. Let's go to school. Let's, let's take that first step. Whatever, well, whatever it is in life, man, whether it's school, whether it's starting your business, whether it's like whatever, doing something that scares you, let's get it. You know what I mean? So on this video, I'm going to give you the top five uh, medical careers that are the best in 2025 that only take two years. All right, so let's get started. So the first one is this one. Occupational therapy assistant, OTA. I think that's a great career. It's only two years as we, as I mentioned. And the cool thing about it is that it's not like, um, it's not like one of a, the essential employees, not that they don't matter, but what I'm saying about that is that, you know, when COVID happened, you know, like a few years ago, we're trying to erase that, right? We pray that never happens again. But when that happened, us, you know, me becoming an RT or me being an RT, I had to be in the trenches, as they say. I had to be in there. I was, I was essential. I had to be in there and, and make sure everybody had chest x-rays and make sure they had nothing going on in their, in their lungs and then all that stuff. And when you become an um, OTA, occupational therapist, you didn't have to worry about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you weren't essential to the point that you had to go to work. You had to do this. Like, you know, you you were protected. You know what I mean? And that's the cool thing about it, you know, that that you don't have to really be in there, but you're still in the medical field and you're still helping people. You're just not in the in the mix all the time, you know? Um, and you help people get better, you know? A lot of people get accidents, you know, and, and they got to rehab and, you know, they have to use their hands again. And, and that's what OTA does, man. I know there's a lot more than that, but um, that's kind of like the glimpse of it, of what they do. And um, look at the salary. I only use Florida salaries because that's where I'm from. I'm from Florida. So just in Florida alone, they make between 45 and 60 bucks an hour. Now, that can give or take some. You know, you know, you know, you can negotiate a little bit some. If you're brand new, you might not be making 45 right away. You might be at the low 40s or maybe high 30s. But, um, but still, that's great money for a two-year degree, you know, and, and a great work-life balance. You only work eight to four, uh, Monday through Friday, 90% of the time. And if you want to work weekends, same hours. If you want to do home health, you know, there's so many avenues you can take. You, there's so many places you can work. You can work in hospitals, um, home health. You can do um, nursing homes. There's just so many. You can work at a, you know, sports complex. There's a lot of things you can do with this, you know, and uh, that's why I put them in my top five, man, because I think it's a good career. So if you're thinking about going for that, hey, man, that's one. So the second one is this. Laboratory technologists. Yeah, a lot of people forget about that in the medical field, man. A lot of people, I guess, yeah, just go to the hospital and people draw your blood and you know where it goes. You know, so it doesn't go to the nurse. The RN collects the blood most of the time, but they don't do anything with it. Their job is to draw it, make sure you're okay with all that, and then they send it to the laboratory technologist. The laboratory technologist is only a two-year program. Again, laboratory technologist. So basically, when you go to work, you're in this, in, in this office, and they have a lot of machines that run your blood. You know, it checks your, you know, your kidney function, liver function, anything that, that, that blood has to do with, you know, everything has different tests, you know what I'm saying, different processes that they do. But that's for, you know, to a glimpse of it, that's what you do. That's what laboratory technologists do. So if you're a person that's introvert and you don't like dealing with too many people, you're like, you know what, I want to be in a medical field, 
But at the same time, I don't want to be going to patients' rooms. I don't want to be going up and down the elevator. I don't want to be there and, you know, having to deal with the nurses or patients or doctors. Hey, man, you just stay in your little, in your little office, your little, you know, laboratory, science laboratory. <laughs> and uh, you let the phrobolomist go and take the blood, bring it back to you, and you do your thing. You know what I'm saying? So that's the cool thing about it. You know, and the same thing, same thing as far as COVID, in my opinion, is that you really don't have to deal with it as much. You know, yeah, you're in a hospital setting but you're by yourself and nobody's there. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's other laboratory technologists in the area, you're probably not the only one, but you know, it's only you guys. There's no like, there's not a lot of traffic going in and out that office, which is cool, you know? So you're still making great money. So this is the average salary in Florida, 32 bucks, not bad for a two year degree. And then you're kind of isolated, you really don't have to deal with people. Hey, that's pretty cool in my book, you know what I mean? Um, and again, uh, I've only seen them in hospitals. I don't know where other places they can possibly work. I'm guessing like science labs. I'm not sure. But, um, but yeah, man, for a two year, for a two year degree to make 32 bucks and possible overtime and things of that nature, I think in my book, that's a great career to think about in 2025 and, uh, just never, you never know is it for you or not, but look into it. Um, the third one will be, uh, this one PTA. That's one of my personal favorites, man. I think uh, if I was to go back to school, I think PTA would probably be the one. Um, again, it's only a two-year program. And what they do is that they help the patients after surgery, you know, once they have to have surgery, they help the patients, you know, whether it's a hip, whether it's a knee, whether it's an elbow, a shoulder, you know, it's their job to go in there um, right away, actually. The patient has surgery, say, at 10 a.m., by 1 p.m., the doctor wants the PTA to go in there and start having the patient move that move that limb around, the extremity around, because it's, it's, it's vital, it's important to the patient getting better and having um, the use of that full you know, mobility and agility as they once had. So it's really important to be a PTA and to, you know, it, they're needed everywhere, you know? And that's a cool thing. Again, a PTA has a perfect work-life work -life balance you can uh, work anywhere, whether it's a hospital, outpatient center, uh, sports rehab centers, home health, um, nursing homes, anywhere you can think of, you can work. You can probably start your own you know, business on yourself because you, you are, well, I know if you can as a PTA, but as a PT, you can. But still, you know, if you're into working out and you like to exercise, you can be a personal trainer. And they'd be like, look, man, I'm a PTA too. And I started to do personal training because I like it. I like to help people get better, better shape. And they're going to trust you because they're like, hey, man, he's a PTA, bro. He or she knows what they're doing. I'm going to go with them. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to give them $40 an hour to, to properly train me and give me, you know, the best advice because I know they're already in the field. You know, same thing, man. You know, so I think that's a cool field. And like I mentioned, you can go for PT. So once you become PTA, you get your master's and you're like, you know what? I want to I want to be a PT, a full blown physical therapist. You go to school and why are you still working? You know what I'm saying? So you don't ever lose the, the salary, but you're still gaining knowledge. So to me, that's pretty cool to start. And um, uh, their salary right here. It's not the best. I think it's between 26, maybe 30 bucks an hour. Um, and it could, like I said, it can give or take depending on your, you know, experience, uh, depending on your area that you work, you know, one area is going to pay more than other areas because this might be the money county and this might be the county that don't make a lot of money, don't have a lot of clients, patients, so they're going to get paid less, you know, so everything is negotiable too, you know, whenever you start working and, and you're like, hey man, I ain't going to work if I make 45, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be, man, you can, you can negotiate, you're your own you know, advocate, you know, so negotiate for yourself, man. I think you can make a little more. And I think PTA is a, is an amazing career, man. I have a lot of respect for them. And, um, I think that, I think that would be a cool career, man, to be honest. So four is this one. Yeah, man. RT, man. At me right now. RT. Yo, I, radiology is only a two year program, right? And the cool thing about radiology is that once you're done, there's so many things you can do in the end, right? So many things. So for instance, you go to school for two years, you pass your RT, become an AART. Then you can cross train into CT. You could cross train into MRI. You could be like, you know what, man? I don't, I don't even like radiation. I'm gonna just go for ultrasound. Since you already have your, your RT degree, you can go to any community college, state college and become an ultrasound tech in one year. So you can even do ultrasound. You know what I'm saying? And then ultrasound is a branch of their own that they have all these little modalities that they can do. Um, sticking back to x-ray, you have nuclear medicine, you have radiation therapy, you have PAX administrator, um, you have uh, specials, which is IR, 
There's so many things you can do, man, in, in radiology. And now, oh, mammo, you can do mammo if you're a female. Males, hey, sorry for you, buddy, but you can't do, you can't do mammals, player. You know what I'm saying? Only females can do mammo. So if you're female tech, you can do a mammo, ma uh, mammal technologist. And what's cool about mammo is that when you're a female, you know, most of y'all, you know, married, kids, and things like that. Um, it has a perfect work-life balance because mammal techs only work 8 to 4.30. You know, that's the one to become mammal tech and you're, you know, you're into that field and you only do that modality only. The hours are perfect. The, the work-life balance is amazing. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's great, you know, um, to do if you're a female, if you want to get into the mammo uh, technologies, I think that's great, you know. So as you can see, man, radiology has a broad range of things you can do after and it's only a two year degree. Um, the only bad thing about radiology that a lot of people don't understand, a lot of people don't really know what they're getting themselves into, is that no, we just don't press a button. We deal with a lot of um, bodily fluids, as you say, you know, uh, if you're thinking about getting into this field, look up floro exams. We do have to do BEs. BEs is barrier enemas. We do that. Those can be messy and those can be clean. It depends on the patient, it depends how everything works, but look, at, look that up. We do have to deal with that. We do have to deal as technologists. We go into the OR, you know, we have to, you know, use the CR machine. The thing about the CR machine, man, is not the CR machine itself, it's the surgeons. The surgeons could be tough to work with. They have you really cool ones, man, that when you walk in there, they're jamming out, they're playing Little Wayne. Yeah, I know I'm old school, but they're playing Little Wayne, they're playing Little Baby, sometimes, whatever, you know, because you got young surgeons, man. You got young 30 year old surgeons that, you know, going at a hip, blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? So they're, they're cool, they understand the game, right? But then you have your older surgeons that have been there for ages and they're 99 and they get mad and frustrated at everything. They push a the machine and make you feel like you're worthless. Trust me, it happens. You know, people from the outside don't understand when they're looking in. And, um, and that's why, you know, if you ever become a technologist, right, or you do the shadowing, you ask your overnight techs, why do you work overnight? You know, I'm not saying you're going to shadow overnight, but if you ever find a tech and you're like, hey, why do you work overnight? They're going to tell you, I don't want to deal with people. I don't want to do floral. I don't want to do OR. I just want to do x-rays and go home. And that's why you have all these overnight techs out there because they don't want to deal with the things that go on in radiology because it's not always fun. They rather sacrifice their sleep and some nights to be peaceful, do x-rays and then go home. You know, when you work during the day, you have to do all that and above. Then you have management there. And some management is cool. Some management could be tough. I know that's in every modality in every medical field. But it's not for everybody, guys. So please do your research and we just don't press buttons all day, okay? The other thing about radiology is that you can only work where imaging equipment is available. So I, for instance, I can't, do, I can't be like, hey man, I'm gonna go work home health, you know what I'm saying, on my own. I can't because I don't have a machine. Now, yes, there's mobile x-ray companies that, that are out there, but when you work for mobile x-ray companies, man, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but you're making 20 bucks an hour because you're not dealing with anything crazy. They give you the van, they give you the gas, they give you everything, you gotta go to people's houses, and they provide everything, but 20 bucks an hour, man, I don't think that's worth it. Um, so yeah, it's very limited to where you can work. Imaging centers, hospitals, and probably urgent care, that's it. Compared to all the other modalities that you can do more, that's something to think about, guys, before you get into this career. Um, but still, overall, a good career for a two-year degree. Now, the fifth one is this. Yeah, man, I gotta say it, it's gotta be RN. Uh, I, I, RN is, is, this is the thing about people, oh, I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be a nurse, they deal with too much stuff. Okay, so, it's a two-year program. Um, but the thing about RN is you can work anywhere you can possibly think of, man. Anywhere. You can do, with a registered nurse, you can do way more than you can do with any career that you can possibly go to school for. So, and, and the ladder is unlimited. The ladder is unlimited. So, what I mean by that, right, is when you work as a nurse, you can work in a hospital, outpatient centers, doctor's offices, home health, at the school, elementary school, high school, college. You can work at a, at a cruise ship, you know, yes, going to cruises all over the world on their behalf. You can work on airplanes, you know, for airlines. You can work from home reviewing cases for insurance companies. That to me is amazing and get paid the same thing as a regular nurse at a hospital dealing with everything else that they deal with. Um, not only that, when you become a nurse, there's so many avenues you can do, you can teach. You can start your own school because you being a registered nurse, you can sit there and be like, you know what, man, I'm gonna start a CNA class. 
Do you know how many, how many CNAs are needed around the country? Hundreds and thousands of CNAs because it's hard to be a CNA. A lot, a lot of CNAs don't want to do it or they don't, have the, they don't want to go to school for it. It's too hard or whatever the case may be, right? But they're needed. You being an RN, you can start a class and be like, you know what? I'm going to teach 15 people to be CNAs in you know, three months. That's my school. I'm going to call it whatever. I'm going to do what I got to do. You being an RN, you have that education to start that. So think about that. That's say 30 people at, I'm just throwing a number out there, five, 500. I'm not good at math. But I know it's a lot of money. 500, to 500 times three, 300 or 30. Like, you know, don't count my math, guys. But I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of avenues you can do for nursing, you know? And not only that, the, the levels you can get to. Like, so when you become a nurse, right? You can sit there and be like, you know what? I'm going to get my bachelor's. Oh, you know what? I'm going to get my master's. I'm going to become a nurse practitioner. Or a nurse, a nurse anesthesiologist, is that how you say it? Anesthesiologist, yeah. As you put you to sleep. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I get tongue twisted. But um, think about that, man. If you become a nurse, you can become a nurse practitioner, which means that you will be the person ordering x-rays. You will be the person ordering exams of the patient. You will be the person ordering, you know, the blood work. And then you get the results. Like, how cool is that? I think that's kind of cool. And radiology for x-ray techs, we don't never have that. We don't have that, that ability. We don't have that. So say you go for x-ray, right? And, you know, you want, I want to get my master's. Okay, cool. The highest thing you can do is become a radiology radiologist assistant and you can't even order anything all you're doing is doing what the radiologists don't want to do or they don't have time to do so while the radiologist is in a dark room reading all the images reading the exams making sure they get a proper diagnosis you are doing all the floral cases getting radiated <laughs> getting all that stuff you know that's things that people don't think about because they're not in the field but in nursing you can move up and actually be a provider you know what i mean and that's something you can never do in radiology i love my career but at the end of the day we don't have that ability guys you know so i know this was a long video i hope that this helped you guys i appreciate you watching my channel as always yeah and i'll be back stay